Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is go over the dip and drive for the jerk. So another thing I see people doing a lot is when they're doing their dip and drive, they end up jumping forward. So they're dipping forward, jumping forward, and then they have to jump forward to catch the bar. Okay, when we're doing our jerk, we want all of our motion straight down and straight up. So for the dip and drive, my torso pretty much stays straight up and down the entire time. So what that's gonna look like from a side angle here, you know what, I'll take these plates off so you can see better, is I'm gonna be standing tall in my jerk position I'm dipping straight down and then driving straight up. So I'm not doing a front squat in which I'm gonna sit my butt back and then try and drive forward. Everything is straight down, straight up, okay? So one thing you can do to get a little bit more vertical in your dip and drive is to orientate your toes out a little bit. So. Some people like to do their jerks toe straight forward, which is good if it works for them. If you have a little bit longer legs, I like to point my toes out so that when I dip down, I can push my knees out and stay straight up and down. I find if I have my toes pointed forward and I dip, I end up tilting forward like that. So toes out, knees out, and my torso is staying straight up and down the entire time, okay? So always think when I'm doing my jerk, you wanna stay straight up and down. It's gonna keep that bar in a nice bar path. It's not gonna cause you to jump forward like a lot of you do and like I tend to do sometimes. So really make sure that you're implementing that in your warm ups as well as when you get to heavy sets. Just think straight up, or sorry, straight down, straight up in your dip and drive and it will work wonders for you, I'm sure. And if it doesn't, then you're just not very good at weightlifting. I'm sorry, it's okay.